This is our world. It's made up of lots of different things. We use these things, which we call natural resources, to make stuff. Everything that you own comes from natural resources. You probably use paper every day. But do you know where paper comes from? Hmm. Around 2,000 years ago, in ancient Egypt, they used to use a plant called papyrus to make paper. But today, we make paper from regular trees. Now, trees are very important. They produce oxygen in the air, and you need oxygen to breathe. They also help clean our air by taking in a gas called carbon dioxide. If we don't recycle paper and card, then we'll have to cut down trees to make more. This will destroy animals' homes. And too much carbon dioxide will also make the Earth get too hot, which could make it very difficult to live here. That's why it's important to recycle paper and card. Did you know that we use sand to make glass? But to turn sand into glass, we need to heat it to a very high temperature. This uses lots of energy, perhaps from another natural resource like coal or oil. Burning coal and oil also creates a lot of carbon dioxide. Too much carbon dioxide in the air will cause our Earth to get too hot. This is called global warming, and it might mean that the UK one day could become a desert. It might also cause the ice at the North and South Pole to melt and the sea to rise. To get the sand, we often need to create quarries, which often involves destroying beautiful places. Recycling glass means we'll create less quarries and we will also save energy. Do you like pies? Donuts? How about strawberries? We can recycle food waste as well as the waste from your garden into compost. You can grow plants in compost which contains all the goodness that plants need to survive. If we don't have compost then we might have to use other unnatural ways to help plants grow. We might, for example, use chemical fertilisers which make the soil bad and pollute the rivers, lakes and seas. Or we may have to grow plants using peat from precious peat bogs in the moorlands. Unfortunately, digging up peat creates carbon dioxide and we know that too much carbon dioxide is bad for the planet. If you put any food waste into the food and garden bin, we can later feed this to the plants they can then grow and create more yummy things for you to eat. Our Earth has lots of different types of metals. You'll know some of these like copper, aluminium, iron, tin, silver and gold. Most of these metals come from mines that we dig in the ground. When a mine runs out, we need to find more special rocks with metals in them underground. This could mean destroying wildlife and sometimes even people's homes. In some cases, we don't have many of these special rocks left. If no one recycled aluminium, we'd run out of it in around 80 years. Can you think of some things we use metals for? Cans, electronics, jewellery, cars, bikes, planes, buildings. Can you imagine a world without these? The metal you recycle could be made into all of these things. This will stop us destroying the earth and still make sure we have enough metal for what we need. Did you know that plastic comes from oil? We're running out of oil fast. Without oil, we can't create plastic, which is used to make all of these things. 
toothbrushes, lunch boxes, TVs, laptops. But making new plastics uses a lot of energy and resources, which you already know is bad for the planet. The good news is some plastic is recycled. Once you've finished drinking from a plastic bottle, make sure you recycle it so we can make it into new plastic items. That means oil won't be wasted creating new plastics.